Welcome to this video on searching for sound recordings and liner notes in the library. This video will cover some of the reasons why you might want to consider using sound recordings and liner notes for your research. I'll talk about how to search for sound recordings and liner notes using the library catalog and provide an introduction to Naxos Music Library, one of the library's most popular music databases for accessing digital sound recordings and liner notes. In the library, you're going to find thousands of sound recordings in physical and digital formats. The majority of physical sound recordings are CDs or DVDs, but we also have some older formats such as vinyl and tapes. We also have a number of databases that contain sound recordings or films. One of the most popular ones is Naxos Music Library, which I will demonstrate later in this video. For the most part, the sound recordings in our collections include classical, jazz, and musical theater genres. We also have a smaller selection of popular music and a local music collection that includes all genres. Our film collection includes musical performances, including opera, musical theater, live concerts, and master classes, in addition to documentaries. Sound recordings are a critical tool when researching music. Some ways that you might want to use them include using them comparatively to look at different performances or perspectives of the same piece of music. You might want to listen to different recordings, which can help to inform your understanding of a work and how compositional elements appear in the performance. You may also be interested in seeking out similar works, contemporaries of the composer or other pieces in that composer's works to see how the piece fits into the broader context. As well, you may be doing research on notable performances, conductors, or performers, and need to listen to their work firsthand. You may want to compare different performances or interpretations of the same work. Not only are sound recordings crucial for listening exams, you may want to explore the practice of deep listening when approaching study of musical works or genres. Sound recordings are also critical when studying a score, or developing an understanding of certain performance practices or period instruments. A sometimes overlooked aspect of sound recordings are the notes or booklets that are included in them. These are commonly known as liner notes. Often the notes will include essays on the individual works on the album. Depending on the topic you are researching, these notes could offer unique information to support your research topic. In some cases, they might be the only source of information about a piece of music. The liner notes provide an added layer of understanding to the music and can act as a guide to the listening process. You're also going to find valuable information about how to assess and evaluate the sound recording because notes will sometimes mention the recording process or background information on the performance itself. You'll find that liner notes will range in reliability. Some are more scholarly and are written by an author who is an expert in the field. In other cases, the performer may have authored the notes. In some cases, there may not be an identified author at all and the notes may be very anecdotal or casual in tone. So it's up to you to determine how useful and reliable the liner notes are for your research. Nonetheless, liner notes should not be overlooked when doing research on a piece of music, especially if you're struggling to find information on your topic. In addition to using the written essays in the liner notes, you may also find biographical information about the performer or conductor, texts and translations for vocal works, information about the performance, recording process, or compositional process. I'm gonna demonstrate a couple searches for sound recordings using the example of a piece by Anne Southam, a Canadian composer, and we're gonna be looking for her work, Glass Houses. This is a set of 15 pieces for piano, and they are gathered under the title Glass Houses. Okay, so in order to do a search for sound recording in the library collections, you're going to want to start at the library homepage, library.usask.ca, and then click on the library catalog link at the center of the page. Once you're here, you'll click on the advanced search link on the right-hand side of the page. On this page, you're gonna compose a search that looks very similar to a search for a musical score. In the first search box, uh, you'll enter the name of the composer as an author. 
you can put the last name and then a comma and then the first name. And then in the next box, I'm going to put a keyword or two from the title of the piece. And then I'm going to limit the material type to recorded music and click go. You can see from this search, I got 10 results and it's a mix of physical sound recordings and online sound recordings. You can tell that it's an online sound recording because in the details underneath the title of the piece, it will say online resource. And you can tell that it's a physical sound recording because underneath the title, it will say one sound disc and then the location will be identified. So this, this sound recording is in the education library and there's a call number. If you wanted this sound recording, you would click the blue request item for pickup button. And if you want to learn more about the sound recording, I suggest clicking on the title of the recording, which will take you to a page with more information. Uh, some things that might be useful to you are in the notes section of this page, you'll get some information about who the performers are on this disc. And sometimes there will be notes here about whether there is a booklet or liner notes, and that will be useful if you're searching for those. This sound recording also includes a contents note, which tells us that some of the pieces in, in the collection glass houses are on this recording, but not all of them. So that might be important information if you're looking for all 15 pieces in this collection of works. I've just gone back to the full list of results. If you want to take a look at an electronic recording, you can simply click on the title and then click this connect to online version button, which takes us out to the Naxos Music Library database. Okay, this time I'm gonna demonstrate how to do some searching using Naxos Music Library. I'm gonna start again on the library homepage. I'm gonna click on the get help button and then go to research guides. And from here, I will navigate to the music guide on the music research guide, I will go to the find sound and video link. Here's a list of all of the music audio and video databases. Today, I'm going to show you Naxos Music Library, which is one of the largest databases for sound recordings. Once you've come to the landing page for Naxos Music Library, you can see that we're logged in because it says University of Saskatchewan here. You can use this keyword search box at the top of the page to do your search. It's a little simpler than searching in the catalog. In this case, I'm just going to type the name of the composer and the uh, keyword from the title of the piece and click enter. And you can see that uh, the database found six sound recordings. One of the reasons why you might want to search in Naxos Music Library for online sound recordings as opposed to searching through the catalog is that you might find more recordings using the search in the database itself. Not all of these recordings are actually listed in the library catalog. If you wanted to listen to uh, one of these sound recordings, all you need to do is click on the title and it will open up the disc on a new page. To listen to these tracks, you can select all of them or some of them and then click this play button on the right-hand side of the page. This will open up the music player and the album will start playing. To close the player, you can just click this arrow button and it will pop over to the side of the page. You can always reopen that music player by clicking on the music note on the side of the page. As I mentioned before, only some of the sound recordings in Naxos Music Library have liner notes included in them. Um, in this case, this sound recording only includes a back cover image, so it won't include the actual liner notes. So you may have to try a few sound recordings before you are able to find some liner notes. If a sound recording does have liner notes, you will see a link to a booklet on the left-hand side of the page and if you click on that, it will open up a PDF. So you can see that these liner notes have a summary from the performer about why they chose the different composers on this album. This paragraph here gives a, a bit of information about the piece Glass Houses. 
If you scroll down, you'll see you also get uh, some biographical information about the performer on this album. So just to recap, here are some things that you'll want to consider when searching for sound recordings. First of all, searching for sound recordings is comparable to searching for musical scores in the library catalog. If you're searching for an individual piece of music, you'll need to consider the title of the piece and other various identifying information such as an opus number, the key, or instrumentation. When you're searching in the library catalog, you want to combine the name of the composer with some information from the title of the piece and limit to musical recordings. When you're searching in the library catalog for sound recordings, you want to remember that we have a much higher volume of sound recordings than we do of scores, so you're going to get usually a higher number of results and they should contain physical sound recordings and digital sound recordings. If you only want to search for digital sound recordings, I suggest starting your search with Naxos Music Library database or another sound recording or video recording database. This video covered some of the reasons why you might want to use sound recordings and liner notes in your research, some examples of how to search for sound recordings and liner notes using the library catalog, and how to search for sound recordings and liner notes using the Naxos Music Library database. 